Shedlock House. I'm Heidi Shedlock. I am a South African artist, but I also love spending time in my home. I love decorating my home. I love spending time in my kitchen. I love doing a variety of creative things. And last week, my daughter and I got invited to do something that took us out of our comfort zone a little bit. Took me out of the studio of painting, took my daughter away from her computer where she was doing some design work and well, it got us into the kitchen. Now, I love being in the kitchen, so I was really excited at the prospect of going off to do a little cook-off at a local cooking school in Durban that were promoting a local brand that uh, produces basmati rice. And I thought, great, I'd love to go along and do it. Well, you know that feeling of watching MasterChef? You feel that panic for the contestants when they're running in different directions and trying to finish something and you feel that pressure and everybody's looking to see, are you going to get this right? Are they going to be able to do it? I love watching MasterChef but I've never considered doing it myself because it seems rather stressful. Well, last week, we thought we were going off to cook with a group of people for a fun morning. And believe you me, it was loads of fun. But only when we got there did we find out that we were going to be cooking a meal on our own in the test kitchen. And the fear factor set in. We walked in, saw the whole kitchen set up, and well, let me take you back to last week and I'll show you what we got up to. Oh, and I forgot to add, did you know that you can make cheesecake using rice? When I first heard it, I thought, no, that's not possible. Cheesecake and rice, they don't go together, right? So I'm out of the studio today and Amy and I are off on a little adventure. We have been invited for a little bit of a foodie adventure today and we're going to take you along with us. Uh, we are off on a bit of a cooking adventure. Ames, how do you feel about doing some cooking today, love? Uh, I'm not the best <laughs> cook, but I think it'll be fun. I think there's going to be loads it'll of fun. Be fun. So yeah. hopefully we're on the same team. I kind of hope we're not. Thanks so much. <laughs> well, okay, well, it'll just be fun to meet new people, but it will. And it'll also be nice to get some new recipes. Yep. All with Golden Delight products. So, off we go. originally the old Jewish Society's membership club here in Durban and they actually have a beautiful Holocaust museum in on the premises. I'm not quite sure where it is. Maybe we'll have to come and have a look sometime. But this is where Gecko Culinary School uh, holds their kitchens and we can't wait to cook with you today. There's also a lot of background noise so apologies if you're getting a lot of noise but let's go and show you around the kitchens we're going to be cooking in today. We're just waiting for everybody to arrive. So we're trying hard to find the kitchens that we'll be cooking in today. Oh, I think they're over here, perhaps. Yes. Okay, this looks like some cooking stations. Whoa, hang on. Why am I getting MasterChef vibes here? <laughs> this looks a whole lot more scary than I thought it would be. Anyway, looks like we will be cooking in teams. So hopefully we'll all know what to do because we're using Golden Delight products today and we're all going to be cooking up some recipes from their new recipe book. Golden Delight is a, a produce a rice, a beautiful basmati rice and I think all of the recipes from the book contain the basmati rice. 
so I wonder where the actual stoves and ovens are oh, here we go uh, we've just found them they are in a separate little adjoining room and oh are you also scared Amy uh, oh, look at this gorgeous old oven how amazing so we are not working in teams today we've each been given our own station with our own recipe that we have to make and contribute to a big feast that we will be doing or sharing afterwards so oh, yikes we all have to make our own recipe and I have got to make chicken fried rice I wonder what Amy has to make uh oh I think she's also feeling the mastership vibes here <laughs> nothing like a little bit of pressure to get it right Amy is cooking some beautiful sweet corn and rice uh, muffins. Those look so good. We've all managed to pull off a magnificent selection of delicious food all made with Golden Delights Basmati rice and we're all going to sit down now together and enjoy it. Okay, full of tummies. How was that Ames? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. I'm, I'm stuffed. <laughs> Me too. I've never eaten so much rice in one meal, but amazing. I mean, and I had to try everything. So, And the cheesecake, how who would have thought you could make a cheesecake with yeah that was pretty impressive rice. it was delicious was pretty impressive anyway thanks for joining us today um it was such a fun morning and we'll be sharing some of our own favorite recipes with you again soon bye so this is the absolutely delicious cookbook that golden delight kindly gifted all of us it is called a uh, recipe book simply perfect golden delight and every single recipe in this book is cooked using basmati rice. And yes, even cheesecake. Can you believe it? Who would ever think that you could use rice in cheesecake? So I'm going to take you along today. I'm going to very quickly show you how you can make a delicious, absolutely delicious cheesecake recipe. And yes, it has basmati rice in it. Thank you to Golden Delights for this recipe. MasterChef Adventure, although truth be told, it was huge, huge, huge fun. And thanks to Golden Delight for hosting the morning. Amy and I thoroughly enjoyed getting into the test kitchen, as terrifying as it was. The food was delicious, and I learned something or two. Who knew that you could make cheesecake with basmati rice? Give it a try. I'll share a link below to our website Shedlock House and on Shedlock House website there is a blog post with the rice recipe shared thanks to Golden Delights recipe book so head on over I'll share a link below and do come back and join us again for some creative living 